In this video we are going to replace this exterior light. You can see it's pretty worn, dilapidated looking. Uh, it works. You can see the light is on. First thing we're going to do to do this job is we're going to disable the electricity to the light. Obviously the first thing we're going to do is turn it off and then you want to find the breaker that feeds power to this light on your electrical panel and shut that breaker off also. At the moment I have the power turned off to the light and the breaker on the fuse panels operated. I think I'm, after I get the wires exposed here, I'm going to turn it on just so I can show you what you would expect to read with a meter if, uh, with an electric meter, if you still have the power on. So step one, we have to loosen a little screw here and the one on the other side. Back those off. I'm not going to pull that right out because I want to cut this away from the siding. Well, I should really be wearing safety glasses for this because these blades sometimes can be bendable, which is great because you can get them into tight spots. But they can break and fly off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go get my safety glasses. Once we have all this cut from around the light, watch your fingers, so don't cut your hand there. And our two mounting screws, at least theoretically, this should pull off. Get too aggressive, we don't want to damage the siding here. Take another little cut there. There we have our wires. Ground. Black one, sorry, the green one, going to the ground screw there, and there's our two wires for the power. Haul those out. I'm going to release these marats. And I'm going to put the power back on just to show you how to verify that there is no power on these with a meter. Anyway, you get the idea. You just turn those marats. Counterclockwise. clockwise. I should release that. And the other Marat. Black and white for our power. There we go. This black and white wire going to the house is supplying the AC power to the light. We we'll have to release that screw there to get the ground wire off. Do not do this at home. I'm just doing this to illustrate what you would read if, on your meter if you wanted to verify that the power was off to the fixture. I've actually turned the power back onto this light fixture, the breaker and the fuse panel, and turned the, uh, the switch on in the house. So if you see this, 120 volts, and you're on the AC scale, as I am here, on this meter the AC scale is displayed by the little squiggly line as opposed to DC, which is straight across. So, I mean, it's, it's not like the 240 volts you'd get if you were working on your, you know, electric dryer or whatever. It's 120 volts, but you can still get a, a good snap of electricity from that. So, you take your meter. Don't expose them like that. Just, if you're not sure about the power, put your leads on the black and the white. If you see this, you still have power to that fixture. The old light fixture had a much wider base than the new one I'm putting on. So, I'm going to... Take these two screws out of here, and pull that base out of this unit, and install it here. And I'm going to get rid of this old one, which in the case of this one, it's just a matter of 
releasing these two flat or square uh, headed screws here. And then I'm going to install my unit inside there. Put this aside for a second. Now, I'm going to put our new mounting bracket in our electrical box. So, I'm going to use the two same screws that came out of the electrical box before. Kind of can't get this backwards because the mounting screws here for your light are obviously right there, pointing out. So we notice that the mounting bracket here that our light is going to mount to, our two holes on the back of our light are horizontal. So I want to loosen these two screws off and move this bracket. You can see here that it could slide in there. So we're going to make that flat. Loosened off our screws we discussed. I'm going to lay my level on there and looks like our bracket is level right up there tighten up those screws at this point I loosened off our ground screw here so connect to the light I have it had it hanging off of the ground wire, which is the bare wire, going to the ground screw. I've taken the white wire from my light and connected it to the white wire from the house electrical supply. Here's our black wire from the light fixture. And I'm going to connect that, wrap that around the black wire that goes from into the house. Take that marrette, hold them into place. Turn them around clockwise. Get that good and tight. Once that's in there, that wire should not be able to pull out. Can't. I'm going to settle all this in the place there. You probably can't see this, but I'm making sure that our fixture isn't caught up on any wires. You want to position that so that it lines up with the screws from our mounting bracket. You see that? I'm going to grab my uh, screws that came out of that. I found the screws for our mounting bracket. Put one on there. The other one on the other side, obviously. And start tightening those up. Now we're going to put a light bulb in it. Which, it looks on this unit, it's just a matter of unscrewing these two screws up at the top. Let's find out. We'll stick a bulb in it and test it. So, I turn the breaker back on and the light switch on, and our new light fixture is working. I'm going to run a bead of caulking around here to seal that up. I'm not going to bother videotaping that. I do have a video for that. I will put a link in if you don't know how to use a caulking gun. And I'll just take a quick shot of this after I've uh, put the bead of caulking around there. And here's the end result. Job finished. Thanks for watching the video.